This is definitely the largest island west of the Mississippi on freshwater owned by a single party. A quick boat ride from the shores of Flathead Lake near Dayton takes you to Cromwell Island. I mean, there's plenty of places to land in a helicopter. You could land in a seaplane. Um, boat works just fine. Once on the island, a 45,000 square foot villa greets you with majestic views overlooking Flathead Lake. I mean, you can't be on Flathead Lake and not see this this structure, it's, it's got such magnitude. Hall & Hall real estate partner Bill McDavid says current owners of the island started building the main villa back in the 1990s, influenced by 16th century French architecture. The magnitude of the structure is reminiscent of Versailles. Beautiful on the outside, the villa remains unfinished on the inside as the current owners repurpose their focus on other projects across the country. It's not built out right now, so a, a new owner could, could could really create whatever floor plan they want with certain limitations, but um, but there's uh, it's an open canvas in that respect. McDavid envisions the property remaining as a private residence or being repurposed into luxury development. I could easily see that happening. A finished guest villa just a short distance away from the main villa can be used full time while construction is underway. Whatever somebody intends to do with this structure or or build elsewhere on the island, they could live there. Uh, have a place to sleep uh, that's comfortable while they do that. Listed at $72 million, McDavid says it's hard to put a price on Cromwell Island. So how do you price something like that? How do you price something like this? I mean, you can't go compare apples to apples with these things. The, the market is what the market is. In Dayton, Sean Wells, MTN News.